Hey gamers, what is up? It's me, Jake, and it's been a while, but I'm back with Furry Life Tips Episode 2. So that you, a furry, can figure out how to live life without breaking the bank. So today, here's how to make money quick. Now, let's just say you're a furry and you gotta get to furry conventions. You gotta get to, you gotta spend all your money on like commissions and fursuits and all that stuff. But the problem is, you've got no money. You've got no job either. I mean, you don't want to work those fast food jobs and those easy comfy jobs that everybody else is working well. You can't get those. They want years of experience you're never going to get. And you don't want to work fast food jobs because you're above that. So you know what you do? You go over to this website. There's this really cool website and it's called Patreon. And you go make a Patreon account and then you just ask for money there. Then you make a PayPal me. And you, if you have a PayPal account, which you probably do for commissioning artists, you just make a PayPal.me account like link. And then you post your PayPal me link on your accounts so that people can give you money. Then you make a Cash App account. Then you make a um, Vendo account. And you gotta make all these accounts so you can get the money. The more begging accounts you have, the better. Hell, even make an Amazon wish list like while you're at it so that people can give you money so that Amazon can ship you stuff while poorly paid wages in the Amazon warehouse do the packing and deliver it to you. They're working their butts off for barely any money while you, a furry, can afford to go to conventions, you can afford to party, you can afford commissions, all on somebody else's dollar. Because guess what? You might have no job. You might have no money. But you can still afford this thanks to internet crowdfunding and grifting. You too can post links to your accounts for money to give to furry artists, to conventions, to airlines and oil companies to travel, and to big pharma for, you know, those extra drugs you're taking that you don't need to spice up your boring life a bit. So, while you're doing all this, while you're getting all this money from Patreon and PayPal and all that stuff, while being so poor on the internet, you might be asking yourself, well, what if people find out that you're doing it just for money because you don't want to work, and even though you live a nice, privileged, upper-class life, you're, you're saying you're poor on the internet. Well, the thing is, you're a furry. And it means you can do whatever you want when it comes to making money. People have to listen and believe. They have to listen to you, your story, every word of it, and they have to believe it. They have to say, yes, yes, um, you're, you're doing everything right, none of it's your fault. Um, I'm going to give money to you. They have to go along with it, because if they don't, well, oh boy. Let's just say it's going to be a bit of a problem later on. I mean, you get people online who are going to call you out. So you know what you do? You gotta call them bigots and you gotta say that that they're just oppressing you, a stunning and brave person who just needs money to literally exist on the internet. And that all your money going to going to you is going to a good cause. At least you could tell that to people outside, and even if they don't believe you, who cares? The furries, or your pay pigs, what they're going to do is they're going to throw money at you anyway, because here's why. They're going to throw money at you because you're a furry, and they're furries, and they're not going to know any better, honestly. They really will not know any better, because they're going to believe every word you say and throw money at you. Even though you're taking pictures on your social media accounts about, hey, oh my god, I just got a new gaming rig. I just got Fallout 4 DLC. I just am pl I'm playing the new Bioware game Anthem all day. I'm playing Fallout 76. Look at me. 
Snap, snap. Now look at me. I'm doing all this cool stuff. Snap, snap. The thing is, they're going to see you playing that, right? But they're not going to... If, if they, like, question it, which they probably won't, even if you're posting all your new flashy stuff, just say that it's so you can literally survive in happiness under a, a dystopian capitalistic economy because you know what socialism is? It's where everybody gets the new $2,000 Samsung flippable smartphone for free. That's what communism's like. That's totally what socialism and communism is like. That, and you get free designer health care as well. So, yeah. That's what you gotta do. You gotta say that if they call you out on spending all your money on fun stuff and not on rent, just, just A, get new friends who will listen and believe, and B, this is the big one, like I said, just say that it's so you can literally exist in happiness under the dystopian capitalistic hellscape versus, hellscape versus uh, fully automated luxury space communism. That That's what you gotta do on the internet. So yeah, beg for money on the internet from those pay pigs working their butts off while you just have to sit in your mom's basement. And that's how you make money quick to live the no con, um, no money, no job, no money, still go to con anyway lifestyle. That's what you gotta do. No job, no money, no problem. You're going to the free cons anyway, people. And there you have it. Some gamer tips with Jake on how to live life like a furry.